first ever freshman to start tailback for Ohio State in the history. Oh. Uh -huh. How did that feel to you? Like, was that was it the first carry or the first touchdown that made you say, you know what, this is it right here? Like, oh, just to 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 start really didn't mean none, nothing. And I can pretty sure for anybody, right? When you focused, um, I don't think you experience your success. When you like, when you really focused on something. Mm. You don't even experience it how other people receive it because you're focused. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I went out in 13 or 14 games in high school and I had become the national player of the year. So then when I get to college, I work from fourth string all the way up to first string. So I was in the process of just working. So by the time I had reached a starting position, I was like, oh, this is just what happens. I didn't see it as this is a university. I'm the first one to do this because... Right. I wasn't into it for that the, the accolades from the outside. I'm into this stuff to right. show you I'm better than you, right? So then when I finally get to um, become the starter, I just was like, yo, this is what you do. And uh, when I get to the game and the moment that you that you describing that it felt like uh, like this euphoric feeling was uh, when I got a touchdown. Like so the first carry didn't feel like nothing, the first few carries, but when I ran down the touchdown and I scored, and, and when you focus and you play this out of a game, you don't really hear nothing. You just hear yourself talking to yourself about what you got to do from play to play. And uh, when I ran down there and scored a touchdown, it was like, man, oh, you can hear the the feeling, the, the 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 cheering from the people, but then you can also feel the energy from the people as well. Right. Like just the infectious um, gratitude and adulation that when you get a bunch of energy and people rooting for you. And right. then um, in, in the first game, they start chanting my name. And so that became like... Um, like your, your, your ego can have an experience too. And I became like real like, yo, this is nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to yeah, I yeah, I yeah. experience more of this stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. And uh, I came to the sideline after like a, a, a few of those carries and I said, yo, bro, this is it. I don't want to experience nothing. That's just a high like none other. And that's basically what happened. But you said this is like, this is supposed to happen. You're a freshman. You had 12, 1,237 yards, mm -hmm. 18 touchdowns. Yes. You go 14 and 0, win a national championship. Bro. Yes. <laughs> That's not average. Like that doesn't happen to like every freshman coming in, bro. How did you feel? You know, with that. I mean, I don't know. I think some people are just, uh, and, and I, I just say myself, some people aren't scared to achieve high. Yeah. And I really got to believe. I got to say one one thing in my life. One thing that's dominated my brain is that I've never been afraid to say I want to be the best at what I'm doing. And that's really what it was. And so when I, when I came to Ohio State, I never said I just wanted to be a part of the bunch. Like I was competing to be the better than every guy who had come before me. And so when you go out and you experience what you, what you said you wanted, you know what I'm saying? Like I even say this, right? People are scared to carve out and say what they really want. They'll hold it to themselves and be like, yo, uh, I think I want to be the best, but they won't put it down on the floor and just right. say, yo, this is this is this is what I'm coming after. You know what I'm saying? I was the guy when I first came in, I told the other running backs and a bit brash and a bit like skullduggery, I said, yo, bro, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start and I don't know what y'all gonna do. People look at it as like you're cocky. They yeah. say that you're cocky. Yeah, so but that didn't affect no, you? Or? No, because I like to put my uh I like to put my mentality on the table. 